The walls of Jericho fell down. And I think the most important word in this verse is this one. After. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. Not before. Not at six and a half. Not at six and three quarters. Not at ten yards from the finish line. After they had been encircled for seven days. Uh, imagine if they'd have stepped out of the line. Imagine the temptation of a tired heart. Maybe a temptation you faced this morning. When is God going to fix that marriage? When is he going to heal that brokenness in your house? I don't know, and I can't make promises. But after you are fully obedient to his word, after you walk one more seventh lap, and sometimes we don't know when we're on that seventh lap, but after, after you continue one more day, one more hour, one more morning, loving your wife who has gone in to sin as Christ loved the church after you love your crazy husband who is hard hearted and evil and burning your family to the ground when is God going to move when is God going to convict when is God going to draw out his sinful heart I don't know after you continue walking by faith after you walk that last lap when's he going to draw out that sinful kid that's gone into rebellion and ruining his life and every bit of discipline every lecture you've given trouble with the law trouble with school trouble with money foul mouth rebellion in his spirit when is god going to break him and draw at him i don't know maybe after you pray one more time maybe after you love them one more time Maybe after, like Jonah, you throw them over the side into the hands of the Lord and get out of the way of their life one more time. Maybe two more times, three more times. I don't know. But the Bible says when the walls of Jericho fell, after, after they had encircled it seven times. So, I mean, today you feel like you're on that seventh lap. Man, imagine, imagine lap five, lap six. Imagine the citizens of Jericho. Sometimes the mockery comes. Still? We're still walking. What are we going to do tomorrow? 20? Where, where, where are we walking? And, and they're walking. And sometimes people, you still, you still praying for that person? You still trying to be a witness to that lost person? And, and they just don't respond to the truth. They just don't care about the gospel. They, they, you, you still trying to love her? You still trying to forgive him? You still trying to heal this? You still try, You still have hope for your family? Like, like, the, like the citizens of Jericho, the evil against the Lord, the spirit in your heart. Are, are you still trying to serve in this way and you don't see any fruit, but you know that God has spoken it to your heart and he's called you to walk by faith, not by sight. Sometimes today you can't see a healed relationship. You can't see a miracle in your family. You can't see that person. You just can't even envision them anymore coming to know Jesus and softening to the gospel, but God seems to put you in, your li in their life to be a witness. And you, you witness it, it just bounces off like a brick wall, like the wall of Jericho, in fact. You're like, man, how many more times? I don't know. Keep walking. Because what, what, what choice do we have? To quit? What, what are you going to do? I, I always worry, like, wh when are you going to step out of the line? What if they just stepped out of line? What if the lap's six and a half? Six and a half. They're like, Joshua, I told you not to speak. Joshua, we're done. We're done, man. We're, like, like, we're exhausted. I mean, there, there's, there's kids crying. People are getting heat stroke here. Like, it's dusty. We're filthy. We're getting mocked. They're throwing and spitting stuff on us. This is embarrassing. Sometimes following Jesus, it, it feels embarrassing in front of the world. They mock you. They demean you. They talk behind your back. Just like when Jesus went to the cross and they mocked and spit on him. But somehow we want out of it. What if they just stepped out of line and gone, I I'm out. I'm going to try a different way. You know what would have happened? I'll tell you what would have happened. Nothing. The walls of Jericho would be standing and they would not have the victory that God already said they would have. He said, it shall be. It shall be. Joshua 6, 5, it shall be that when, they didn't have to do it and you don't have to persist either, you can quit, quit, you can quit, you can walk away and the walls of Jericho and the promise of God because they had his word and his word is true, but you can abandon his word for your own if you want, but the walls of Jericho would have stood, they would have missed the power, they would have missed that miraculous moment, we love this story now, but you wouldn't have loved it if you were walking on lap five on day seven, and maybe that's where you're at right now. Thank you.